Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Grammel School. My today's model had her nails done for the new year, but they didn't last till the holiday. Though it's been only three days. Let's save these nails and transform them for the holiday season. Here we go! So here are today's nails. To be honest, when I saw them, I couldn't get my mind around the fact that they are only three days old. Because I can clearly see some technical mistakes. There are layers in the ingross points, cracks on the sidewalls, and lots of pooling. As for the cuticle zone, it looks as if there's been no manicure at all. The skin is really dry. Some of the sidewalls are so thin that I can easily push through them and pick them with an orange stick, like this. There is a layered surface on the inside as well. The nails have been sculpted with dual forms. My model had them done at a nail salon, and it cost her about $30. It's super inexpensive for nail extensions. So, she should have predicted the outcome. A good manicure can't cost little money. If it does, then altogether, it will probably be not that good. I'm going to do a nail fill and recreate this glittery nail art on milky white nails. My model really enjoyed the design itself, so let's remove this coating first. Make sure to file all the cracks out, patching them up won't solve the problem. This coating has pulled badly, so it is sure to peel off. Removing it, I can see that it has lifted in some areas, though it's been only three days. I removed the fridge since the nails differ in length, especially thumbnails. There's a black dot on the thumb that used to be a cut, but it has healed. It is not the pterygium that is peeling off in the cuticle zone. It is pooled gel. Actually, it's a common issue for dual forms. Gel gets so deep under the nail fold that it can't be seen. If a nail technician can't remove it, it will peel off eventually. So, it's just one more thing that I have to take care of. It's been only three days since the manicure, but it does not seem like it. Sure, most of the cuticle is missing, but there is a lot of leftover skin in the sinuses and on the lateral folds. So, it took me a while to remove it to get a clean result. Actually, it's twice as difficult to work with freshly manicured nails. The skin gets thin, so it's easy to overfile it. So be careful if you ever happen to do a manicure on manicured nails. I'm going to do an e-file manicure, since this skin is pretty dry. There's been a combined one previously. The cuticle has been removed with nippers bit by bit. No wonder there are so many hangnails only three days later. It's all about the right manicure technique. It is not always the one a nail technician is the most comfortable with, but the one that will be the most efficient for a given nail type. Using a red diamond cone drill bit, I polish all the tiny hangnails. Look, what a drastic difference! Due to the red drill bit type, the skin gets perfectly polished and there should be no hangnails anymore. The cuticle will grow back evenly. Do you like manicure and nail extensions? If you do, join my new online course on nail sculpting from zero to pro and get your certificate. The course is available worldwide. For more information, click the link in the description box below. Done with the manicure. The transformation is going well. I cover up the cuticle zone with a primer and a base coat. Now let's recreate the design. I go with a reflective gel polish first and cover it up with Yuki flakes. Look at this glittery goodness. Just right for a New Year's Eve party. For an eye-catching shine. 
I will tone it down with some milky gel, but it will still pop through it. I got this glitter from AliExpress. There are tons to choose from, and I love using glitter in my nail art. I'm particularly fond of this glitter to milky gel gradient. I don't know how many times it has appeared in my videos, but it is so simple and absolutely gorgeous. Time for the most important part. Let's sculpt the nails. I was thinking about gel strengthening, but then I realized that it will take more time to fix these cracks with gel. So I'm going to use some milky white poly gel. First off, I fill in the crack, then I pull the lateral fold and cure the crack with a UV flashlight. I also build up missing sidewalls. The previous nail technician filed them off, trying to slim the nail down. Now it's time to sculpt the nail with the second layer. Right now, it's badly curved. Apparently, the dual form did not fit the nail, and the nail technician tried to fix that by pushing it harder which resulted in this sad curved nail tip. To lift it, I grab a big drop of poly gel to create a smooth gradient, to let the glitter shine through it, and just right to tone it down. It's crucial to sculpt a straight line from the apex to the free edge, lifting the curved tip. The nails still look too wide, given that the image appears wider through a camera lens. So, I clip the nail to slim it down and sand it to cure. Now let's do the rest. In the meantime, I will explain why there are such huge cracks in the ingrowth points, when it's been only three days. The thing is that the nails were sculpted with dual forms. Sure, it's a quick and easy technique, but not the most universal one. There is a limited range of form sizes, so, it's hard to find the one big enough for the thumb. Even the biggest zero size is often too slim for the natural nail plate. That's when paper forms come in handy. They are more universal. And they would work way better on these nails that are more on a wider side. One could just put it on forming a beautiful C-curve while using dual forms resulted in flat nails that seem whiter than they actually are. You will see that when I sculpt and file these nails properly, they will automatically appear way slimmer, just due to sculpting and filing. There is one more cause of cracks in the ingrowth points, and that is pushing too hard when putting the form on. Sometimes nail technicians push so hard then there's little material left on the sides, just a thin layer that will hardly last long. So mind your dual form technique. I can't help but agree that the technique itself may seem relatively simple when we see it beautifully presented on social media. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just fill the form with gel, smack it on, take the form off, and that's it. But in fact, it's a rather nuanced technique. Most of our students face pretty much all of the common issues in the beginning, like pooling or messing up with the form size. And we talk about this in detail. That's why I always recommend you learn the basics of the technique first. It looks like our previous nail technician tried following some video tutorials. Those where all you need to do is to put the form on but the result did not live up to the expectations. Curved tips, different length, lots of pulling and layering. The nails did not last. The model says that she was scared to go back to that salon ever again. She was so disappointed with that unprofessional attitude. It even felt like it was nail technician's first time doing it. Her moves seemed unstructured and chaotic. I have already filed the nails. As you can see, they look slimmer, though I did not change their widths, just sculpted them. Besides, I have filed all the axes out to get a beautiful and elegant C-curve. The nails look totally different, 
and more expensive as for me. That nail art also featured stamping, so let's add it as a finishing touch. This time around, I'm going to use some festive patterns. I love these snowflakes in particular. I got this set from AliExpress last year. Now let's top it off. To be honest, I slightly messed it up at this point since the top coat started to pull the pattern in the center, so I had to seal the tip like this. I would really appreciate if you could share with me a top coat that goes well with stamping. Don't forget to seal the nails on the inside as well. And here's a final look. Did you enjoy today's nail transformation? If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and check out more nail transformations on my channel. Wishing you all good luck and happy holidays. Bye-bye!